Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am so excited because this is the first video of the new year and today we're talking all about fashion trends for 2022. Now as you know, I love a good capsule wardrobe. I'm more geared towards a timeless style, but I do like to incorporate trends because I feel like it helps keep my capsule wardrobes and my wardrobe just fresh and interesting. And when it comes to dressing modestly, as I mentioned in a modest fashion hacks video, incorporating trends in your outfits can help add like a modern touch to the looks. So today I've put together just a list of modest friendly trends for the new year because we know that things like broad tops and mini skirts are also fashion trends that are big this year but personally I won't be wearing those and I wanted to just see if there was some options that would be more appropriate towards my personal style and honestly that's a good way to approach trends. You don't have to follow every single fashion trend there is but instead focus on the ones that fit your personal style or allow you maybe to even step out of your comfort zone a little bit and have fun with different fashion styles so without further ado let's dive into fashion trend for 2022 number one Trend number one is the maxi length. So as I mentioned in the intro, the mini length skirts are very popular this year, but we're also seeing maxi length skirts popular on the runway as well. To be honest, I saw either a lot of mini skirts or maxi skirts, like either or. And I think this is pretty interesting that these are both trends. It's like they're both two different extremes, but maybe that is the trend, just like extreme lengths in the length of your dress or skirt, whether that's super short or super long. Obviously, maxi length is a great option for us modern ladies and personally even if you're not into following trends too much I will say that keeping up with trends are great because they allow you to see what you're gonna have plenty to choose from so if you wear maxi dresses and skirts on the daily regardless if it's trending or not now is a perfect time to stock up on a style that you love because a lot of stores are gonna be creating different versions of maxi skirts and dresses and you're gonna have so many options to choose from. Another thing that I was seeing on the runway that I really like is the styles of the different maxi dresses. We have fuller ones, we have a lot of pleats as well I saw, and also even just like dresses and skirts. So not just maxi dresses or not just maxi skirts but you're seeing a nice mix and variation of both. Trend number two for 2022 is white monochrome. Now personally, I'm really excited for this trend because monochrome just helps elevate your look. It helps you look really put together and it's an effortless way to do it too. I also think that this is a great trend that you can shop your closet like you already have it in your wardrobe. All you have to do is match a white top with a white dress or skirt or pants and there you have it. You have a nice white monochrome outfit. And what's also cool about this trend is seeing it throughout the different designers on the runway, it was nice to see that this trend is for any style. So you could go for like more of an edgy look with an all white look, or you can do something more on the minimal side or even more on the feminine side with a flowy white skirt and then a flowy white right um, top. So it's really nice because I feel like this trend is not only a, as I mentioned before, something that you can easily shop your closet for, but it's also very just universal for any style aesthetic. Speaking of the color white, let's actually just talk about the colors that are popular for this season and year. Now, on all the runways for spring 2022 and even in the pre-fall, there were three main colors that really dominated, and that's pink, yellow, and oranges. And not just like different shades of these, but very vibrant pink, oranges, and yellows. And I thought that was such a breather because I love neutrals. But I do want to try to inject more color into my wardrobe and these colors are just so happy. Like pink, orange, and yellow are really like positive, like they just energizing like colors. And it's so nice to see that this is being incorporated in a trend. In fact, you can do it in so many different ways. You can have a full on monochrome look with like pink or orange or yellow you can just wear like a yellow top and stick to your neutral colors which is probably what i'll end up doing being able to kind of anchor those bright colors with neutral colors or you can even mix all three colors together in fact a lot of designers i'm already seeing like styles that they're selling they are including styles that have patterns mixed with orange pink and yellow because these colors do work well together now though these three colors did dominate the runways i did feel like i saw a lot of bright green greens and vibrant blues as well which was very interesting not as much as I did the other three colors but vibrant colors in general will be very popular this year now if you are not feeling the 
bright head to toe pink orange and yellow or just the bright vibrant colors in general I think this next trend is for you and that is bright bags along with those bright colors we saw those colors on a more scaled back approach paired with a monochrome or neutral outfit with bright bags I personally think this trend is not only very wearable but it's a great way to interject color into your wardrobe without going all out and it's a good uh, low investment trend like you can just get a cute colorful bag and honestly you may already have one in your closet and wear it with like a white monochrome outfit which is also a trend or just wear like an all black outfit and then you let that bag kind of add a nice pop of color to the look the next trend that I thought was pretty interesting was dress over pants. This is something that, again, I saw a lot of variations of throughout different runways when I was researching for this video, and honestly, I'm very excited. I'm kind of like looking forward to see how stores are going to implement this, like more high street brands. Like, are they going to sell the dress and the pants together, or are they just going to style the model in that way? This is definitely a modest, friendly look, and I'm going to try to in my upcoming videos show you all some ways to wear this on a more like everyday basis and honestly this is actually a look you can shop your closet for too like I have a long cardigan that also doubles as a dress and I think it would be nice to wear that over like a pair of jeans like skinnier mom jeans and I can still have this like dress over pants look so you may even be able to shop your closet especially for this trend and just try to wear your items in different ways but this is definitely modest friendly and I think it's going to be a really fun trend to play around with. The last trend is chain belts. Now this particular trend, Chanel specifically dominated this. Like I loved between their spring collection and their pre-fall collection for 2022, I loved all the ways they styled the chain belts. And this is kind of a subcategory, I guess, of the Y2K trend. I know that like a lot of things like the bra tops, the low rise, the butterfly tops, those are all kind of under that time decade that are trending right now. But chain belts are actually also taken from that time period that is a trend that's kind of popular this year. And what I love about chain belts is you can be like completely covered and modest and then you add a nice like little chain belt to kind of spice things up, add a modern touch. In fact, actually when it comes to Chanel's lookbook for their pre-fall collection or pre-fall 2022, I did see a lot of that because obviously it's getting colder so we had like a lot of long dresses within the chain belt and once again this is a low investment trend that is just a nice way to spice up your wardrobe. Let me know which of the trends I mentioned in today's video you're looking forward to or that you already have in your closet and you have an idea of how you want to style it. Let me know also how you feel about fashion trends. I don't consider myself a fashion trend follower, but I do like to keep up with them to see what maybe I can do to help spice up my wardrobe, to keep it modern and fresh. And it's always fun sometimes to see a style that you really love is trending because like I said, with the maxi dresses and skirts, you can just stock up on that style because you have so many to choose from and a lot of brands will be incorporating that trend in their new collections. Feel free to subscribe so that that way you can see some more fashion content to me and I want to thank you so much for all of you who supported me last year like I am really excited about this year and the content that I have and my own wardrobe and personal fashion goes and hopefully you can join along on the journey and I will see you all next week. Bye! Oh, yeah.